Hey, Architect Nation, Enix Sears here. In this video, you'll discover one key ingredient that successful architects possess. Actually, not just successful architects, successful people and entrepreneurs in any endeavor of life. So I'm here up in the mountains above Oakland. Mars is a little cold today, but we're here in this beautiful wet redwood grove. Absolutely amazing here. Yeah, we'll go back in a little bit. Mars a little chilly. We made a bridge. We made a bridge. We did make a bridge. Yes, we made a bridge. We made a bridge. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, and here's here's a natural bridge. So as we're here's the thing, right? As we were walking along, I saw this gigantic tree right here that's been uprooted and fallen down. And the interesting thing about this tree and how it relates to today's parable is that as I looked at this tree very closely, I noticed something. Calvary, so what's what's cool about this tree? It's still living even though it's fallen down. Yeah, it's still growing, mm -hmm. right? Its roots are in the ground. Its roots are in the ground. And so what we learn from this is this idea of resilience in life and in business. So I remember back around 2008 when the economy actually went into the dumpers, I lost my job and I had to struggle, I had to hustle. Felt like the world was falling down. It felt like I was this tree that was laying here on the ground. But just like this tree has life, just like this tree continues to grow and continues to thrive, I as well wasn't gonna give up. And I know that you've had times like that in your life as well, where you've had crazy things happen and you've pulled back, it hasn't killed you, right? So the parable of the tree here is that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Like we learn. So in this game of architecture, in this game of business, in this game of entrepreneurship, those who succeed are those who are willing to go ahead and do what it takes without fear of failure, without fear of falling over, right? Because just like this tree has life, you have life in you. And so see this, you know, in the game of architecture, one thing that I see that holds architects back is a reluctance to go out there and meet people, a reluctance to network, a reluctance to do business development, fear of calling new people, fear of getting outside of ourselves. But look at this tree, right? These leaves, they don't care what people think. This tree doesn't care who's watching. It's going to grow whether or not people care or not. So what I'd have you do, i have you consider that the same life that that flows through the veins of this tree, so you're gonna hear my kids fighting in the background there, is the same life force that courses through your veins. And that as long as you're not dead, you will succeed. So I encourage you to be resilient, go out there, do what it takes. Don't worry about who's looking at you or who cares about what you're doing. Okay, we'll go in a minute. She wants her jacket. Anyways, we're out of here before my kids fall off this teeter-totter over here. As always, carpe diem, seize today.